Okay, so today I want to talk about something that I sort of find doubly fascinating. From a mathematical point of view, it's very interesting because it's it's a way that you can make three-dimensional manifolds very, very easily and very intuitively. And it's basically just the analogy of gluing together two discs to make a sphere. In a similar way, we can glue together two spheres to make a four-dimensional analogue of a sphere. So this is a very interesting idea in my opinion. But something else of sort of more historical interest um, is that this idea of having a sort of hypersphere constructed like this seems to have been um, imagined by Dante uh, in his book, I think it's The Divine Comedy, which was written something around about the 1300s and he seemed to conceive of a sort of universe where there would be a sort of sphere of hell and then you could move up into the sphere of earth and water and purgatory and up into the celestial spheres and then there are these different various celestial spheres and as one continues one continues all the way around to the other side so basically the structure which Dante sort of ascribes to his universe a lot of historians and such have considered that it's basically pretty much a hypersphere but I think what's very interesting about this is just how easy it is to make such a hypersphere I mean all we do is we just get two spheres and we imagine identifying corresponding points as if those points are glued and this is actually a more general concept than that uh, because for example if you imagine uh, you have any so there's different kinds of three-dimensional manifolds these really interesting ones where you can walk through walls and you know change your orientations and things like that they're often you know the sort of three-dimensional manifolds without boundaries but you can also have of course three-dimensional manifolds with boundaries. A very simple example would be something like the Earth or the interior of a ball. But the idea, the interesting idea, the sort of generalization of this notion of making a hypersphere I was just describing is that you can actually use this kind of technique to make loads and loads of different three-dimensional manifolds uh, without boundary. All you do is get a couple of three-dimensional manifolds with boundary, let's say, like a solid ball and a solid donut or something like that. You can get some of these three-dimensional manifolds which have boundaries, and what you can do is you can get a pair of them. Let's say you could get two spheres or two donut shapes or whatever. And then you can sort of remove the outer boundaries of them and identify the points and so it's basically a similar sort of um it's a high dimensional version of the idea of sort of sticking together uh paper to close to make a cylinder or something like that you're basically um gluing boundaries together and there's so many different ways to do this to make so many different kinds of three-dimensional manifolds